Hey, my name is Tucker Krause. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we got another uranium stock update, so let's not waste any time and get right into it. All right, so first up, we got the chart of URNM here, and I should note all this data is going to be as of October 17th. So pretty much on like the last couple weeks here, we've been pretty flat. Well, it's been volatile, but flat, if that makes sense. If you can see here, we can see it moving way up, moving way down with a lot of big candlesticks in here. One thing I will note, though, is that it seems like we could be due for a rally here because the general markets have kind of been fighting for one for a little while now. Same with uranium markets, too, since, of course, they trade with the general markets for the most part. So who knows? Could we maybe bounce here or maybe we're going to keep falling? Because I also said we could potentially see a bounce in September for uranium stocks. And, well, we saw how that did. We got a little tiny one, but that faded very quickly. Who knows? This will be another tiny one. Rally way up here. The big one. Who knows, though I do personally think we could see a little bit of a rally around these levels. Though one thing to give that pause is there is a little bit of bearish RSI diversions as we can see here on SPUT. Though on that SPUT does look quite good, we've bounced off the 250 day moving average and we don't necessarily have any bearish candlesticks printing. Alright, so let's look at the stocks we're covering today. Next Gen has a near $2 billion market cap. UEC, just over a billion. Denison, just below a billion. I wouldn't be surprised if it's back over a billion by the time you're seeing this. Boss, Global Atomic, Fission, Deep Yellow, and Your Energy all at a quarter billion to a billion, roughly in that range. I'm sure you can read. Benjamin Energy and Lotus Resources in the over 100 million range, though less than a quarter billion. And then Forces, Goviex, Peninsula, and Blue Sky all trading with less than a hundred million dollar market caps. To note again, sorry, I still haven't updated the value for UEC. I'll get to that soon. Just kind of totally forgot about it. And then for Deep Yellow as well, I haven't updated it for the Vimy merger either. Since they have an update DFS coming later this year, might as well just do it all at once rather than do the Vimy merger now and then the DFS later this year. Something to note before we head on, though, is only about 25% of you guys watching are subscribed, so if you could, go hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a whole lot, hoping to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Completely free for you to do, makes no difference to you, and it helps me a whole lot. Alright, so we can get into price per pound here. So, Goviex, Forces, Blue Sky, Uranium, and Bannerman, all with a below dollar per pound. Actually, Goviex below 50 cents, so looks like these all trading really, really nice right now. Global Atomic, Lotus Resource, and Fission, not half bad either, all below 5 bucks. Though Next Gen, Denison, Boss Energy, Your Energy, and especially UEC are definitely trading pretty expensive on a price per pound basis at the moment. And on to the DCF fair values here. So, of course, $80 spot price, 50% CapEx and OPEX inflation along a 10% discount rate like usual. And again, because we've kind of been flat selling off, we're still way off the highs, all that stuff. We, of course, the values are still looking quite nice, especially where they were compared to the highs. Right, we can see that every single one, except for Boss Energy, DPLO, and UEC. Though, remember, DPLO and UEC technically haven't been updated yet, are trading as undervalued for a lot of these very substantially right we can see blue sky peninsula vision denison forces next and all look incredibly undervalued with quite a bit of undervaluation here for goviex global atomic bannerman your energy and lotus resources again so maybe we see a bounce here maybe we continue to chop sideways maybe we dump who knows where it's gonna go because Again, it's the markets have, you know, had very bearish sentiments and, you know, could has potentially been due for a bounce for quite a while now. It's seemingly around mid-September. We stopped falling and kind of just been flat and trying to fight our way back up. Though, who knows? Are we going to successfully fight our way back up? Or are we going to keep dumping? Or are we going to keep chopping sideways for a while longer? Who knows? Either way, the values, of course, for uranium still looks quite good, especially compared to the highs of this year. Either way, though, this is not financial advice. Do your own research. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.